Live from the jungle. Welcome to another episode of the Lionheart Podcast. We are going to talk about the current WWE superstars, the state, the state of WWE right now. We want to talk about um, the current superstars and who needs a refreshment. Because you know, there's a lot of, there's probably a few superstars out there that needs a refreshment that's currently in the company. Guys like Dolph Ziggler, and you know, we, we're going to get into that as we, uh, you know, proceed. That's what this episode is about. So, yeah. So guys, I am on the WWE 2K16 video Same game. Yep, we're just going we through the going roster. Through, yep, just going through the roster. Uh, so uh, we uh, we just gonna start from the A's, of course, all the way down to the Z. So sit back so, and relax and drink your latte. Oh uh, yeah, drink your beers and shut up. I'm joking. I'm my room range. You know, I, I I don't put people to sleep. But uh, let's go. All right. So first, we start off with. Adam, oh, uh, I forgot, uh, my bad, w, you know, don't shoot me, uh, oh, okay, here we go, somebody, I, uh, I, you might as well just include the whole New Day here, okay. Big E, Big Titty, uh, Big Titty Langston, uh, Kofi and Xavier Woods, okay, um, yeah. um, I think they're doing really good right now, but, oh my god, excuse me, I'm, I'm burping right now, but I think they're doing really good right now, but, I think eventually down the line, if these if the, if this team actually die off, you know, and you know they get really really stale, they're not stale, they still fresh, but when but when they get stale, when they eventually just die off, then that's when we gonna know, you know, they need to get refreshed. But right now they're doing pretty good right now. Now Kofi, if you want to go back to the old Kofi, he needed a refreshment. That man needed some damn sweet tea, and he got it. <laughs> he in New Day, he got their refreshment. Uh, I'm telling you right now, <clears throat> I don't know. About the new day because after what I saw on a Monday with that bull, cr- uh, I don't even know. Uh, I guess they doing all right as long as they don't do that bull crap anymore because that was just trash. But uh, <laughs> uh, you guys, you don't know what I'm talking. About. I'm talking about that uh, that terrible, pro- uh, you know that. Uh, uh, so what would you call that? That movie like deal? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it was like the dang Final Deletion kind of. <laughs> You, you, you've, heard, you've heard of the final yeah. deletion, right? With uh, Matt versus Jeff Hardy on uh, TNA. Yeah, yeah it, it's just like that, pretty much. But you know, it, it's it's WWE's edition, and it, it was different. It's just the way it was filmed or whatever. If people comparing it, comparing the two, like it's you know Lucha Underground or some shit. But anyway, back into the video. Yeah, but um, Big Show. Big, well, all right, guys. This, okay. For people like Big Show, Randy Orton, or Kane, I really can't say anything about them getting refreshed other than a heel or a, a you know, no, no. face. Big Show, I, I don't know about this one, man. This One minute this man face, one minute this man heel. I don't know what to say about this guy. I, I just don't know what to say about him. He might be face for good because, you know, he, I, I, he, I heard he's retiring soon. So. Yeah, when it comes to people like Kane or Randy Orton or Big Show, it's hard to say, what, like, you know, when you say refreshed, it's hard to give them something because you know they are you know they've been here for a long time. They've done this for a long time. Yep. So it's kind of hard for me to give them hey you know the, what they need to be refreshed on because they're not one of those new guys that just roll, roll you know that WWE is screwed over right on the scene. Kind of like this next guy, Bo Dallas. Oh yeah, Bo Dallas. Bo Dallas. And that, I remember that when that man first debuted, he debuted in the uh, the uh, Royal Rumble, eliminated Wade Barrett. That man. I, I, I like that though, Bo Dallas better than this one. This this this, this nigga. No 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 no. The Bo like, Dallas NXT. That's the that was that was the better Bo Dallas. I ain't really watching much of NXT, but I, I you know I watched the promo he did with Sami Zayn when it was like they're not saying boo, they're saying Bo. That, that was funny. <laughs> I think he was more entertaining in uh, NXT. So he he had if he was NXT champion, he he had to have been better in uh, NXT. He must have been better in NXT. Excuse me. Yeah, he was the uh, he was the like. Wasn't he the, like the longest reigning NXT champion? I think Bo I, I yeah. think he was. I'm not sure. I think he was. Right, Biggie was right also now, NXT champion Dallas, as well. He, yeah, right now what I think Bo Dallas needs, I, need, I think he needs to go back to his NXT type so uh, he needs to get out the social outcast. Really, I, I think he needs to go back to that. You know that solo country. Uh, you know that country uh, gimmick he had. Yeah. Uh, I like that way better. Uh, way better than uh, you know what he does now. But uh, moving on, let's see. Can you dig it? So, oh, no, heck no. Let's see. Bray. Okay, Bray Wyatt. 
Brady. Uh, he just came. Yeah, back. he just came so back. He, I mean, he he just got refreshed, so you know we can't really say anything really much about this. Yeah. Uh, Brock Lesnar, he's not here all the time. Yeah, we can't. Man. Plus, he's the. I'll just skip him. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just skip him. Uh, Cactus Jack. Okay, Cesaro. Here we go. Now Cesaro. Cesaro had, go ahead. Like, he just returned with that new gimmick of the spy deal. But the only problem I have with Cesaro at this point is it, his, his little spy deal is starting to die off really uh-huh. quick. Like, at first it was cool, but now, you know, it, it's kind of, you know, people are just like, okay, yeah, you know, it's kind of boring. Yeah, already. I want that. I kind of want Cesaro to be a bad guy. Like I want him. I want. I kind of want him to turn heel again. I don't know why. Like I feel like he he did much. He was more dominant as a heel. And I feel like if he uh, he needs a push. He really needs a push. The guy is one of the best wrestlers. Like athletically right now, like, he can wrestle. Like man, man, what did, they they are taking off of Cesaro's moves shit too, man. Like. Yeah, man, what happened to Cesaro lifting people, you know, from like lifting people like Big Show over the entire rope, and th- you know, suplexing them in the ring, you know, like his moveset has been decreased. Like they're decreasing this man's moveset a lot. He'll, I, he'll probably I, do it at like a, at a, at a uh, you know, a pay per view or something, but he's not gonna do it on a, on a Raw or nothing like that. I mean, if he wanted to, he, he can do it, but you know, it, we just haven't seen it in a while. I guess he never like said it for. Money in the bank. It would have been the perfect time for him to do like do it on some ladders and some money in the bank. He didn't do it then either. So oh, wow. I mean, I haven't seen this in months. I haven't seen this man do those moves in months, so it's kind of sad. But uh, yeah, I think all he uh, what you say, son. He just needs to uh, go heal. I think he needs to go back to that. Uh, that old I, you know what? I Bring really, I really want to see him with Paul Heyman. I want to see him with Paul Heyman. Oh yeah, that, that, I can picture. Would... I, I can picture him. if he if he get Paul Heyman, Oscar Cesaro will be champion. He gonna be WWE champion, guaranteed. If he get Paul Heyman. But, like, but the thing is, the only thing I'm worried about is they tried that Zeb Coulter thing, and uh, oh yeah, that didn't work out. With the weed, the weed, we the people with Jack Swagger. They even did it in that tag team match, that that horrible episode of Raw, the Fourth of July. They did the little weed the people thing when they when they uh, got in the ring. Yep, uh, it wasn't that. Uh, yeah, it was alright, but um, um, uh, oh yeah, but I think he needs to go back to that thing some Sammy Da. Yeah. Yeah. Say what? Say what? Yeah. Yeah, that was nice. I like that theme song. But uh, next we got Chris Jericho. He's doing good right now. As a hill, he, he's really good right now. He he on fire right now, in my opinion. Uh, one more match. Chris and he gone. <laughs> uh, ooh, Colin Cassidy, also known as Big Cass. He, he's good, pretty right good now. right now. He you know he wanted the new new guys. You know he I think him and uh, Enzo are doing pretty good right now. Where they at? All I can say is, if he ever does break out, you know, from Enzo, which I hope it never does, that man is going to be championship oh, yeah. material. You know, him being solo when Enzo was gone, that pretty much shows you, you know, when he was doing, you know, doing all them promos by himself, uh, pretty much uh, defending himself as well. I, th- I think, you know, that shows you that he's worthy of being a singles, a singles competitor and not having Enzo around every oh, yeah. time. But, um... Like, I, you know, I consider this team a watered-down version of DX. A PG version of DX. Just put it like that. Bada bing, bada b- Okay. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, same here. All right, next, my boy. I'm going to let Dragon speak on that one. <laughs> I beat Triple H not once, but twice. Man, this man has, he has talent. And they are holding it back. You got this nigga walking down some John Cena. Oh, yeah, that, that man paying homage to John Cena every night. That man got the John Cena shorts on. Uh, man. Go back to the Cur- Curtis actually needs to go back to when he had Paul Heyman. Yeah. That man, he was good when he had Paul Man, it, it was so perfect because I didn't see it coming. No one saw that coming. Curtis actually comes out with Paul Heyman first night back, takes out Triple H. Man, second week after that, takes out Triple H again. Next week after that, wins the Intercontinental t- title. Man, that was they were doing so well with them. And I know where he loses to Chris Jericho. One match. That's when Chris Jericho was facing. And ever since then, he's just been falling. I falling. keep on falling. And I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. And they really just, I was just done with last year when they had this Hulkamania bullcrap. Like, he didn't know who he was. He was just trying to find himself. I'm like, man, y'all, y'all ruined the main. Y'all just ruined Curtis Axel, man. That, that, that upset me. It really did. But, uh. Yep, he 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 Speaking he's beyond not, still. Oh, he Curtis beyond still. Oh yeah, for real, for real. I, 
Like what, like, what they need for him now, he needs to stay heel, first of all. He needs to stay heel and just go back to that gimmick he had when, you know, he first came back. Better than perfect. He needs to go back to that better than perfect. I swear, that's what that man needs. Yep. I mean, he, he desperately needs that. Because uh, I think, oh, yeah, that, that like, he started getting, oh, yeah. What made him start getting bad is when CM Punk. They started focusing on Brock Lesnar and CM Punk. And when they did that, that threw Curtis Axel off. Yeah, it really oh, did. Yeah. Because yeah, like, people were so focused on the other two off uh, Paul yeah, and guys. Side. And not Yeah, so it, it was kind of, it, it threw him off. But uh, speaking of not knowing your identity with that Hulkamania bull crap, Damian mm-hmm. missed, uh, and then he get released. Um, Yeah, he got released. He, he, I think he's doing better right now. He got released. Uh, Daniel Bryan, man, full respect. Yeah. Good job on that cruiserweight. Oh yeah, Daniel. Oh yeah. He, okay, now like I mentioned before, if y'all have been checking out the previous podcast, y'all know I've been so sick of them get make Darren Young straight again promos. But he came back and he took that W and he and he got himself a title shot against the Miz. He didn't do nothing. He didn't do jack. I swear he just that man got himself a title shot. <laughs> Gasp. Oh, but. Yeah, yeah, the Miz is waiting. And I, I mean, I truly, sadly, knowing WWE, I feel like Darren Young is gonna beat Miz. I, I think really he is do. too. I think Bob Backlund's gonna get to Maurice, and I, I think you know, Daniel Bryan's just gonna beat Miz. I truly, I mean, not, well, not Daniel, I mean <laughs> oh, wow. Darren Young. Darren Young, <laughs> Darren Young is gonna beat Miz. I, I think it's gonna yeah. happen. But um, after that, we got our WWE World Heavyweight Champion Dean Ambrose. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he, he okay right now. I mean, if he ever lost the title, I don't know what would be next for him. I can tell you that. Because, like, I, I, he was, like, before he won the title, like, before he won money in the bank period, he was starting to get kind of stale. Yeah. I ain't going to lie. He was, uh, he, but uh, that, that money in the bank briefcase, and then cash in the same night, that, that, that really he got he, he, a Man, lot. that man got refreshed that one, that one night. <laughs> Fully refreshed. Yep. That man had drank the whole oh, cup of orange juice. Mm-hmm. Diamond Dallas Page, the Illuminati. I mean, uh, let's see, oh Dolph yeah, Ziggler, oh Dolph yeah. Ziggler. He need refreshment. That man needs some. That man need the whole gallon of orange juice. That man need a full refreshment. That man, he should have got refreshed a while back. This man was feuding with Baron Corbin. That continuous feud, people really wasn't into it, you know. And, and Baron Corbin was, you know, the the, uh, the, the upcoming, well, the upper hand in the feud. He, you know, beat Dolph Ziggler. But Ziggler needs a refreshment. I don't know what's that. I don't know what's going on with Ziggler. This man coming in the ring dressed up he similar is. like Shawn Michaels. This man, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Ziggler. He needs to turn. He, he, need, he needs a new theme song too. He was. I heard. I heard a rumor. He said it himself. He wants a new theme song. He, he requested it a long time ago, but he never got it. I guess. Yeah, I hear the show the world book, right? I mean, you gotta think about how many versions of that song he's had. Like when he first when he first came back from Nikki, you know, he had I Am Perfection. But yeah. and that was basically here to show the world in a different, you know, version wise. And then they just customized it again and then they customized it again. Hey, yeah, that song is old, you know, so yeah, 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 really all I can say for him is he Yeah, he needs to turn heel. Yeah. Uh, 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 broken neck, uh, see. aka Edge. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, down go. Uh, Enzo. Oh my bad, I, we way above. My bad. I was, I was ahead. Want to talk about Enzo? I just, uh, you kind of I mean, did call it cast. Yeah, that. okay, we can skip Enzo. So, uh, what can I say? I like Enzo's charisma. He's very, uh, He's you know, their team, their team. Period. Yeah, they, they really are. But like, the thing is about Enzo, we haven't really got to see. What Enzo can do, and when I say what Enzo can do, I mean what he can do. I, I, do. Like I'm gonna say this right now. Uh, I think the moment Kyler Cassidy and Enzo split up, Enzo, they gonna mess Enzo up. I, I just think they are gonna mess him up. I don't know what's gonna be next for him. I think they might just mess him up, unless he turn heel and be well, a I bad think, guy or something. I don't know. I think he gonna be those type, that one type of guy. You know, he has the look and he has the swagger, but he just gonna be losing every oh, match. Oh yeah. Like, I swear. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yep. They're like kind of like like you know the his style period. You you saw that Jordan jacket he was wearing on a uh, Raw mm-hmm. Monday, and like how he came, he was just rocking that thing, running around. He was doing his thing, having fun. I mean that's what the, that's the type of superstar he's gonna be. But at the same time, he's just gonna be losing. And we really haven't seen his athletic ability in the ring. We don't really know 
you know, what he can do. And, like, the way WWE has been showing him, it, it, they make it look like, you know, Big Cass carries the whole yeah. team. You know what I mean? They make it look, look like Big Cass, you know, is the, the face of the team. You know, he carries the thing. And we haven't really got to see what Enzo can do in a one-on-one match. We, like, I don't even think Enzo has had a one-on-one match yet. Yeah. Really, it's always been like Cass, Big Cass. Big Cass has had a one-on-one, but not Enzo. Because you remember he got that yeah. really quick yeah. injury. Oh, yeah. like, like, I hope he don't be like, you know, a Daniel Bryan type deal, you know, where he he you know he keeps getting hurt and hurt, but he, you know, like you said, he has that charisma. Yeah, he got charisma, though. He, like, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt him. He, he's very charismatic. Probably one of the be- the, uh, the top guys, the, the, the top current guys, in my opinion, with charisma. He got a lot of charisma. Mike skills is good, too. Yeah, I- Hey, I, I always pictured if, Enzo, if, if 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 wrestling was still TV fourteen, well, if WWE was still TV fourteen, I think Enzo Mori would have cussed so much, they would have cursed so much. Him and a big cast. Oh man. Bada bean, bada fuck boom, them niggas. <laughs> bada bean, bada boom, fuck them niggas. But they ain't gonna say the n word. They ain't gonna say all of that. They did. That would have been funny. Bada bean, bada boom, fuck them niggas. <laughs> This one, when I look at this next guy, I, I see a blank page. Wow. I, I, <laughs> back then, I used to call him. I don't know why. I used to call him the next Kane. <laughs> back then, I don't know. I used to call him the next Kane. So, I, we, okay, we've seen him face. I didn't like it. I've seen him heal. I still don't like it. I don't know what to say about him. He, I think he's doing good where he is. I get, Right now, I would say Cause that that face thing, I, it, it didn't really make that much sense to me. I didn't like it. No, hey, I, I like, I like this theme song. He had a pretty good theme song. Oh yeah, 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 game, yeah, too. yeah, nice yeah. I just, I don't know. I just, like I said, blank page. But after that, kind of like you mentioned earlier, a song, uh, Fandango. Fandango, they just got refreshed. Yeah, they just, uh, he just he, got refreshed with Tyler Breeze. Before that, you know, I remember he went, he, he was with uh, Ox, you know, Rosa Mendez. This man had this uh. He had this different, it was kind of different. Like, he didn't do the dun, dun. He used to just come out and just go in a ring and run to the ring. I used to laugh. I used to run to the ring. He had a, he had a rose in his mouth. He used to dance with uh, Rosa Mendez. He had this little thing going it was, on. Uh, it, was like the, it was like this Italian type thing. Yeah, it was something like that. Like, and like, like he, he used to come out with a rose. He, it was like, uh, tick, 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 something like that. And it, it was dumb. Yep. Like, yep. Yeah, he he run down. He run down to the ring. That 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 still got job. <laughs> and then I I guess uh I, you know no one really liked it because that, that man was still getting booed. And when that man came back with the everybody welcome again the fun dog cool bon, dun, 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 dun. And you know they had a little remix of this song. I'm like, okay, this is yeah. at least they're bringing it back. <laughs> Finn Balor. Now he had a good match against Shinsuke Nakamura. We just made uh, posted our review on that uh, NXT. If y'all haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. But uh, you know, uh, hopefully he be in, hopefully he'll be in the draft. That's all I gotta say about him. I mean, yeah, he. I mean, he can't get refreshed if he's not there yet. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, when he when, right now, when I think about Finn Balor, the word like the the what pops in my head is what's next. Yeah, what's next? You know, what what is next? Uh, he know, pretty I much accomplished everything, you know, in NXT. He's, he's done faced it all. the best, he's been you know, to the top, been to the top, fell, got, re- tried to get it back, but you know, just couldn't get it. Had a good, had a good last match that he could just, you know, leave uh, NXT with, you know, go on to the main roster. He might be on the, in the draft. That's all I gotta say. Now it's time for him to move on. I guess. I let's see. Uh, Finn Finlay. Now, you know, he, he do know how to make a good coffee out here. Let's see. Uh, Goldust. Oh, yeah, he's with our truth right now. Goldust. I mean, I, I I wasn't that into it at first, but, I mean, I, I, their matches actually be pretty decent. Like, I like their tag team finisher. It's like a uh, it's like a uh, a neck breaker and a, and a, a back drop or something like that. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. nice. I, forgot, I forgot what it was oh, called. Oh, and don't get me wrong, they got that. They got some too. charisma now. They, they they're, they're pretty much an updated version of Booker T and Gold Dust from 2003. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> that, is, that is true. That's funny. R2 with them highlight. He got them gold yeah. highlights. I like how R2 changes look up to it. Uh, really pretty nice. Uh, you going to like this next one. Oh, yeah. Heath Slater. 
Nah, man, this man, this is probably if if y'all had the if they, if they at the Slammy Awards if they had job of the year, man, give it the Heat, uh, Zach Ryder or something. Man. Give it the Heat, man. This man, no, 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 give it to Zach. But Heat, this man has been jobbing since, man. He ain't had no type of chance like Zach. He ain't with no type of mid card title like Zach. He was tag team champion at one point, but he ain't never had no chance. Like, give Heat the chance. That, that was the best. Man, that was back when Nexus and McCoy yeah. existed, man. That, it, that's exactly. Yeah, that's how long it's been. It, that was like shit. It's five years ago. <laughs> six they, years they, ago, they actually. Did six years ago. Five years, six years. years. Did all that, it, it didn't work. It just has not worked at all. He's been switching around. He's been in different groups or whatever. He's been, you know, hoeing around with the groups, but, you know, he he just haven't, he just hasn't had that push yet. Yep. I remember one, last year, he got one big win over somebody, and the crowd marked out. Like, he, he beat him by a roll-up fan. Oh, that's wrong. That's yeah. wrong. He beat Seth wrong. That was, like, his only big win. Uh, I, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, but he. I mean, you you can still give that man a WWE World Heavyweight Title shot and let let him lose it in like five, ten, ten seconds at least, man. Man, I. You know what I mean? I don't know. I think he got potential. I I, I should, I'd say put him on NXT or something like. Put him do him do him like they doing Zack Ryder. Put us have him on NXT sometimes or have, or have him on the main roster. Uh, maybe I'll just put him. I'll just oh, put him back to what? NXT. Put him on NXT. Not put him back, but put him on NXT because he never been on NXT before. I think. Uh, him on NXT, I I don't I don't see him with the NXT title like NXT uh you know champion. I kind of can see if he, if he has a different gimmick. Maybe NXT tag team champion. If he can get on NXT, find somebody else to work with him. I really do think he can be an NXT tag. Team I can picture Slater being like a really really cocky redneck hillish type guy. You know, he him wearing a, a him wearing a, 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 a you know a black biker coat with the NXT championship with some shades or something. I could just picture him doing something like that. It'd be, it'd be kind of badass, in my opinion, but yeah, he's still getting job. All right, let's see next. Hideo uh, Itami. He, yeah. Now, he just returned, so he, he that man was out since, like, last summer. That man got injured last June, and he just came back, like, a few, like last week. Yeah, Stephanie, man, there's only one game, and I, I'm married to him. All right, so you're going to have a lot to say about this guy, too. Oh, yeah, you, oh yeah, he on that same level as Ziggler. It's just stale. He need a full gallon of orange juice. That no, yeah, uh, or, uh, American made uh, orange juice. Let me let me put the American in front because it's swagger or whatever. But yeah, he been stale for a minute. The last time Swagger was actually you know at the top was when uh, when he was getting close to the top was when you know he came back in 2013 with Zub Coulter. He was getting close to having that championship, but then he smoked some weed and he smoked his career away. Seemed like it. That's what it seemed like. I mean, like he smoked. He smoked. He, he smoked his push away. He came back. He smoked his push away. Do you remember what this man did? Like, he came back on SmackDown. This was when SmackDown was... I, I think it was still two different shows at the time. I'm not sure. I can't really remember. That is yeah. kind of fuzzy. But I do remember when he came back. That man came back. I mean, it, it shocked the world. They were talking about who's going to be in the Elimination Chamber match. That man he had a new theme back. song. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, he had his new theme song. It, like, it, you remember, it debuted at Chamber 2, his new theme song. That's where it debuted at. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Came back on the Raw, beat Randy Orton legit. Literally, he beat Randy Orton legit. First match on the Raw, first match of the night on the Raw. I, I remember that clip. Like, then one Elimination Chamber match, heads to WrestleMania and loses to Alberto Del Rio for the World yep. Heavyweight Title. And tapping out too, man. He tapped out. I was like, man, come on. I, I really do think Jack Swagger should have won that match. I really do. And ever since then, I kind of like you said, it's on that. Uh, like, I remember at one point, uh, at one point it was a feud between. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, because you remember, uh, Jack Swagger uh, lost to Del Rio. Then that next night after WrestleMania, oh yeah, Ziggler yep. cash yep. in the Money in the Bank briefcase, and so that caused a feud yep. between the three of them. The three of those <clears> men it caused a big feud, and then around that time that's when he smoked that weed and uh, weed the people. Yeah, that was it. That was the game. People that. weed. The people. Anyway, uh, well, that's it for Swagger. He he need a he needs he need a refreshment straight up he, legit. Well, a ASAP he need a he need a refreshment. So uh, let's see who we have next, Dragon. Let's see, pass the. Yeah. Ooh, the oh Uso. man, uh, oh. turn them hill or something. <laughs> turn them. Oh man, I mean when they first when they first came back. 
Right, when they first came out, you know, with the new theme song and the little, oh my god, my oh, oh, yeah, yeah, all that good stuff. I mean, they're, I don't know, I give them credit, they're charismatic and all, but they, they, yeah, they kind of still, they kind of still too. They've been doing that for like the past, uh, what, three years, so I think, time. four years, a little, oh my, Jamal, I'm I think three, I think it's been three years. Uh, I think they started late 2012, uh, 13 doing that, but they don't do it, they don't do it no more, that little interesting, but them as a team, you know, overall, they, they need some type of, you know, to change. I'm on top, getting job. Man, I'm so stale, man. I need some, everybody need there. some food. That was horrible. But <laughs> uh, John Cena. Well, you know, Cena. He, I mean, the only thing I, I, Cena, he he gonna be the same old guy. The only thing Cena's changing is the color of his shirts and and uh, the color of his attire. That's the only thing he's changing over time. But Cena gonna be the same guy. He never turned in the hill. That speculation been going on for years. It, it's never gonna happen. I get, I gave up on it. He never turned in the hill. But I, I ain't gonna lie. No, lately, like lately, the crowd has been cheering for him. I guess they booed Roman Reigns so much they just you know. Started cheering for Cena. <laughs> I say that all all the time on the podcast, but I, 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 I that, that's probably what happened. I think that John need John Cena needs this. This is exactly what he needs to change up his fruity pebble box. Yeah, he needs a new cover on wow. his fruity pebble box. I uh, mean, I unlike <laughs> you, so I, I kind of I, I haven't gave up on the heel thing, man. I'm praying. That this man ends his career on the heel move. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that this man turns heel at least one time in his. What are you gonna be Hollywood Cena? <laughs> like Hollywood Rock? You can't see me, bitch. Cause I'm man. Eventually, people are gonna they're gonna stop cheering for Cena again, and like uh, they're gonna move on. And I think they need to do something about that before. Yeah. It does I ain't gonna happen. lie, Cena, Cena, you know he well, back what? some days he be having some born some born promos, but lately his little few AJ Styles, his promos been up there. It's, it's been pretty good in my opinion. Testicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He stepped up his promo, his word, his word play, and the promos, and it ain't that bad. Who's Kalisto. that jumping out the sky? K L I S T O Kalisto. Oh, <laughs> uh, Kalisto, man. I mean, He's okay. Man. He, he 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 was doing. I, I, I mean, I liked him as U.S. champion when he beat Alberto because that was a huge shocker. But um, you know, Rusev killed him. Yeah. So when Rusev, yeah, like you said, when Rusev killed that man. That knocked yeah, him he down back the he was far. before he got the U.S. Championship. Like, he, he accoladed him so bad, you know, <laughs> cracked that man back, and he went back to his <laughs> his whole position. I think he kind of went lower. Like, man, did, did you not see on, on Monday how Kalisto got pinned by oh, Ty Breeze? And, and, yeah, man, he got pinned like that. Like, you said, off, like, off, and look, man, off of Ty Breeze, Sig. Off of Sig, man. man. Was what was that, dang. super kick? No, oh, yeah, yeah, super kicking his nuts. Yeah, he got super kicking yeah. his stomach. That's right. I thought he kicked him in his nuts, but you know, <laughs> yeah, it was, it a, was in yeah. his stomach, and like he got yep. pinned off it. Hey, how shocked, man! I was mega shocked. I ain't gonna lie, that was, was a nice like, kick. Wow. That was a good ending to <laughs> to end the match off that kick. That wasn't that bad, but you know, he he still should have kicked out. They they should have let him kicked out the writers and stuff. But uh, uh, let's see, we got uh. Ooh, Kane, Kane. Uh, Kane, Kane is pretty much he, he's 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 pretty much part time. Sometimes he's there, sometimes he's not there. I, I don't really keep up with Kane like that. Um, you know, Kane is probably one of the oldest guys, the, the oldest current guys right now. But and and for his age, he still can do all do a lot of stuff. He even said, I think he said in the, uh in an uh in an interview that he still feel good. He still can. He still got more years left in him. So and he's like forty eight right now. And Kane, man, to me, Kane is just his hormones are everywhere. Uh, one, one second I'm corporate. Yeah, one that's second, just a I'm little a, gimmick thing, but <laughs> you, you know, know what it's whatever. I didn't. I'm not like that. But uh, oh, Kevin, no, I ain't yeah, got nothing. Kevin, no one's doing good. He doing really good. Right now, he passed up Kevin Nash. He tear a squad, Kevin but he he's not part of the it. company. <laughs> well, he well associated, but he's not a mm-hmm. wrestling or nothing, but. Kevin Owens, he good. Yeah, one of my favorites right now. He he, he really good. He good. He good. Uh, well, you know, I mentioned him. Didn't we mention him earlier? You know, he he he's okay. Yeah, he, yeah, he got that refreshment. He good. He he got refreshed already. 
Luke Harper, he's uh, yeah, Connor. Oh yeah, Connor. Oh man, I um, I, I ain't seen these guys in a minute. <laughs> when was the last time they was on TV? Was they on Raw? Oh, uh, Monday. They was on, they was on Monday. Raw Monday. Okay. They were in the. Oh yeah, you right. Your show was. Yep. And when was the last time we seen them before that? <laughs> when was the last time we seen them before that? Uh, long, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, they WWE they dropped the weeks. ball with these guys, man. These guys come from being the longest reigning, most dominant NXT tag team champions ever to being just jobbers, man. I don't, I don't know Nothing. what they did. I don't know why they messed them up. I actually like them too. Their entries are all good and everything, but now they just. Uh. Yeah. Illuminati, yeah, they got the Illuminati different thing different. going on, but man, they you know still good as a team. They 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 dropped the ball with them though. They they dropped the ball bad. And they had and when Connor got injured, they had a uh, Victor with the with the social outcast uh, shirt at a live event. Now you know something wrong with that. You <laughs> you know something wrong with that. Saying some Victor joined the social outcast. Y'all made Victor a uh, social job. Man, hell to the <clears throat> no comment. But, uh, after that, we yeah, got he's Luke injured Car right now. Oh, I like Luke Harper. He's a pretty good. He's pretty good in the ring, but it's been a while since we've seen him because he got injured. This, this man's injury must have been really bad. He, been he might be. I think he's okay now, time. but he, he's he's filming a movie actually right now. He's filming a, a horror movie or something like that. Uh, let's see, Mark. Nah, he's been on and off TV as well. I heard he's gonna retire soon. I don't know when, but pretty soon he, he's supposed to be retiring like for real this time. Um. I mean, he he. I mean, he, he get jobs sometimes. So when he come when he come back, like when he, when he has a match, he always lose him and stuff. But Mark 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 ain't got nothing else to prove. I remember when uh, before it was before WrestleMania, uh, before the WrestleMania that uh Brock fought like like the like it was yeah before the WrestleMania that Brock fought uh Roman. That was the last time I remember really seeing. Well, no, Mark was on. He was on. He was yeah, in that was battle on Monday. Yeah, was he, he was backstage that, or something? Oh. Yeah, but. Okay. But like, uh, like, what, like, how can I say this? He can't. He was on SmackDown, and uh, Mark Ingram came out and interrupted Roman. He was just like, Roman, why do you think you can beat, you know, Brock Lesnar? You know, I couldn't beat him. What, what makes you think you beat him? And you know, uh, bro, I'm a Roman. He was just like, man, I don't want no trouble with you. I just want to deal with Oh, Brock yeah, I remember that, yeah. I remember, yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I, I mean, pretty much they had a match later on that night. You know, Mark lost, and he would, he shook his hand and was just like, you going to do it. you going to beat Brock. And, and of course, we know the outcome of that, but that, that was the last time I really yeah, remember same here. anything big. I think after that, yeah. probably at the WrestleMania last year, he, 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 you know, he was just taking a little break, I guess. Or maybe he was injured. Who knows? I heard he was, he was he got injured a few times last year. Some minor injuries. Yeah, he did. Uh, he, he was in the Andre uh, Giant for yeah. Royal that year. That, uh, but, but Mark and Big Show, they pretty much. I think they're doing the same thing now. They just there just to be there, just to have fun. I guess they're not trying to prove nothing else. They just there just to be there. But sadly to know this, Big Show is still doing better than Mark. And <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. Like you, you were in that Survivor Series. Like man, Big Show, Mark Henry in the ring. Man, Mark Henry runs right into a knockout punch. One, two, three. First man, oh, yeah. man within seconds. Like how? You see how far they put Big Show over Mark? Like that? I'm like, dang man, that's that's messed up. Yep. But, um, the Miz. Let's see. We got uh, next. We got the real world, nigga. Off the M MTV. Yep. Uh, the Miz. Who? I mean. I mean, that really must have said. I mean, his wife was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, she looked like her first one too. <clears throat> if you know what I mean. But um, yeah, yeah. That that's that, that was pretty much his refreshment. He got some good. I'll give him. He got some. He he got some charisma. He got some good mic skills too. He he he's a, he's a beast with the mic. I ain't gonna lie. He is a a he is a a a legend with the mic. I don't wanna say legend, but a beast with the mic. Let me just stick with that. <laughs> Because Maurice is my wife, and I'm not a virgin. Because I'm awesome. Oh yeah, uh, Neville. He just returned. Uh, 
Yeah, he, he just returned. He on Smack. He was on SmackDown actually. Uh, it's coming on uh, tomorrow. But he he uh, we're, we're making this on Wednesday, by the way, guys. If, just so y'all don't get confused. But um, he just returned and he got he got he got he he got like a full facial hair now. He got like a full. I don't know if, if y'all have seen Neville recently. Like he grew a lot of facial hair. He got that new look uh, in the ring now. Oh shoot! I, I, I can't yeah, he was on. He returned on SmackDown. He got the facial hair and everything. He had a red attire and stuff. I. Yeah, I mean, yep, I guess that's, that's his first one, I guess. Right there. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? Archie, What's man. Archie? Uh, I mean, he's he doing okay right now. I don't want to say he's still, but he's doing okay with Gold Dust. But he, like the his biggest push was back in 2011 when he when he was heel against John Cena and all of that. No. How you go from almost beating John Cena to what he is now, though? Man, that's just Yeah. Sad, sad. But him and they're doing okay. He he's a pretty entertaining uh you know wrestler. I have and Randy Orton, he's coming back at Battleground. I know most of y'all probably know. Um, Viper versus the Beast. That's all I gotta say. Hey, I mean, yeah, I mean, before he left, that man was oh, yeah. making stale before he left. Uh, he was super stale. He, he was stale when he became WWE champion, and they had that little thing with Daniel Bryan. Going no, 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 I, no, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, like that, when he man, first became little... champion, when he like when he first turned heel, when he first uh, cashed in his briefcase, that's when his refreshment kicked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then over time, they kept on doing that same match: Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan, Randy. It was pay per view. After pay per view, after pay per view, and he just got stale uh, that quick. He got he got stale real quick. Yep, and he wasn't the same as a hill like he was then. Like it, he was a hill then, he was much better. Yep. He was in his prime with the age of Orton thing. That was amazing. And that was an amazing uh run, hill run. But uh, yep. Big Flair, we, we don't see him. Uh, he gone. <laughs> he gone. Uh, recruit. Oh, the Rock. If you're part time. Uh, oh, this man needs it for Roman Reigns. This man needs that. This okay, now, now I'm hearing rumors they might turn him heel. I'm, I'm really I, like I don't know if it's gonna happen tonight. If it's true, but I'm hearing when he might when he come back he might turn heel, which is gonna be great. If he turn heel, that would be great. That would be great. This neutral bull crap ain't working. He's like, he, he's literally in the it middle. Is, he's not 49.5. He's literally 50. Between 100 and 0, I mean, one, 0 and 100, he is 50. It's like neutral. It's almost like Dubby told him, man, we don't know what we're doing with you. But as long as you follow my lines, as long as you follow Vince's lines, you'll be a champion. You'll be a product of Vincent Kennedy McMahon. And look at that. I'm not a good guy. I'm not a bad guy. I'm a sleeping. I will put your ass to sleep. He put. He puts you to sleep with them promos now. He puts you to sleep with them promos. Them pro, his promos are just. He gotta work on his mic skills, man. It, like, like I mentioned earlier, with uh, who, who I said needed Paul Heyman. Uh, it was somebody I said needed Paul Heyman, but Roman. He needs. He needs somebody like Paul Heyman. Roman don't need to talk at all. He can talk, but he 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 just need to say a few words. He seems like the type of guy that's that's just a man of a few words. That's it. Like he's a he. Uh, how can I say this? He is a one hit wonder. That man said one good line. He he said uh, uh yeah he said that line. He said well, trust me when I get back. Make it rain in that bitch. Yeah, yeah, I remember that too. Rain. I was just thinking that. Yeah. Yeah. That, was, yeah. that was a that was that was like his only good line. And then like I remember he returned to Survivor Series. Man, they had a they had like a uh, interview with that nigga backstage. He he forgot his line. Uh, oh man, I don't want to tell you, Dragon. He probably, he, I think he know the whole lines, but the whole Dragon. I mean, not Dragon. Roman climbing a tree. <laughs> this little boy get that pot, got that pot of gold. Whatever. It was horrible. That was one of the worst promos I've ever heard in my life. We want to know a little story about Roman. He climbed to the top. He climbed that mountain. He got that pot of gold. I, I don't know what else he said, but I'm glad I forgot because it was just horrible. Trash. Cow manure. <laughs> A part of freaking gold. I, I, all I the gotta snooze, say is yep. the snooze. But, uh, but, uh, Lu Russo. Lucky's Russo got in the world. Smash a line too? Oh, yeah. Lucky's got in the world. Get anal every night. Russo's won anal. Uh, you know. uh, 
But yeah, Rusev, Rusev is dominating. Uh, I ain't much said about him. And Ryback, man, I, no comment. I don't know what's going on with Ryback. He, he, he signed with them, but he's pretty much gone. He's still in the contract with them, but he's pretty much gone. And, uh... Same. Hey, Dragon, uh, fix your mic. Flank your voice fading away. Perfect, perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sammy's He good, he good. His, his match against Kevin Owens at Battleground, I think that's going to be a really good match. Ooh, the Hell legendary nah. Santino. Um, uh, Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. Oh, yeah, he got, he already got there. Yeah, first. I still wish he turned face. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, really, I still wish he turned face instead, but, you know. I guess they didn't want him to turn face. He, he's still doing good right now. He's doing good. Came back doing it. Like he's he's moving much better than ever. You know, like like that injury, like that like that injury never happened. Oh yeah, by the way, guys. Oh yeah, by the way, guys. I didn't mention uh, Aiden, uh, Aiden of the job. I mean the VOD villain. I didn't mention them because uh, they're they're kind of like you know they 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 just got here and even though they're getting job now. Like the I give them credit. They they, they, they pretty good. Lot. They got a move set and all, like in the ring. But you know, they, they give me. It, it's just boring, in my opinion. It's just boring. Let's see. We got Sinkara. Mr. Botch. He, he team. You know, he in the same position as Kalisto, pretty much. So ain't much to say. Stardust, he gone. Yeah. Sting. Yep. Nah, he 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 retired. Stone Cold Steve Austin, which I like, so I still hope that man becomes GM of uh, one of the. Yeah, they already. It's been a rumor going around saying Daniel Bryan supposed to be the GM of SmackDown, so I don't know if Stone Cold gonna be on Raw, but you know it's up to Stephanie, and I th I, I highly doubt it's gonna be Stone Cold. I think the GM of, Sm of Raw might be Triple H. I, I don't want to see it myself. That's, Triple H is getting stale too. He's getting stale. Oh yeah. COO. That man is. Man, he he showed his face too much. That, that's all he did. But um. Now nah, he he just, you know he's still fight I, like he's still fighting Rusev now. Y'all might not have seen it on Raw or SmackDown. Whoa, he had a match against him on main event of Superstars or something like that. But which you know which I don't watch, which I don't watch at all. But I still wish Titus could have beaten Rusev for the title. I still oh. wish he could have beaten him. Uh, this is what Tyler, Tyler, so you don't need to stop that making moves. He need, he need, he need his Chill theme song, like his old theme song. Not, not the, not the making moves, but the you wanna yeah. talk. Yeah, yeah, that's what he needs back. Yeah, yeah, that's what he needs back. He, that's what he needs. Man, stop with this. Man, they, uh, they, they even gave Darren Young a new theme song. Little, Give Titus back his other theme song. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but they just don't think about this. Yeah, I mean, but they just don't think about this, man. This, the, this theme song will not die. I, when Titus O'Neil and Darren Young broke up, Titus got a new theme song. Darren Young he yep. kept the Make It Move theme song. I came back together, got the same theme song again. They broke up again. Darren Young got a new theme song. Dar uh, Titus O'Neil kept the Break It Move. Theme. This theme song will not die. Make it move, make it move, oh, make it make it dollar move, make it. <laughs> What million dollars oh, wow. y'all niggas broke? Y'all is getting jobs. <laughs> That's messed up. That's messed up. Uh, you have to bring their personal, yeah, their personal yeah, finance yeah, money in here. Wow. Yeah, 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 man. What, what? Quarters, nickels, pennies off the street? Man, I don't want to hear that. Make the move. But, man, hey, man. Uh, let's see. He just talked about him uh, pretty much. Uh, I don't know. Like I said, like I said, Stale, I don't know if he's gonna have a match like, at SummerSlam. Oh, I doubt it. Probably he probably gonna, he, he, we probably won't see him again until WrestleMania. And who know who knows who who he's gonna face? I don't know who he's gonna face next year. I have no idea. Goldberg maybe? I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, just like Fine. Yeah, just like Fine. Dongo Ty Breeze got that. Oh, you know, oh yeah, Tyler Breeze. Yeah. And, he, and he, Tyson he, Kidd. He oh oh yeah, sorry. About, uh, you still going? You still talk about uh, Tyler? Because I was gonna talk about Tyson. Uh, well, Tyson, I, 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 I oh man, like I, I don't know what's going on with him. Last time we seen him, he got injured really bad. Like uh, he got hit with the muscle buster, and you know he, his, he like he didn't know how to. Uh, I think he didn't know how to sell it, and he kind of he he pretty much messed his neck up. He got surgery. He's doing okay right now, but I, I'm hearing rumors. Well, I heard some in the past that he he might have to retire, but I don't know what he's doing now. I don't know what's next for him. He's probably still recovering. So. Ultimate Warrior, uh, Ultimate Warrior, uh, uh, Wrestle Soul, and Undertaker. Yeah. Now, I, I, last time I heard, he wasn't on good terms with Vince, and but and now, but now I'm hearing he might face John Cena at SummerSlam. I don't know what's going on, Undertaker. Yeah, 
He gonna have a match at WrestleMania next year. That's already confirmed. I don't know if he gonna be back this year or what. Man, I'm thinking right now. You know, Man, I, I'm right now, you know SummerSlam came back around pretty quick. Cause it felt like it was just yesterday. Sure, yeah. Undertaker and sure Brock Lesnar had that match at SummerSlam. Yeah, it's been that long. But uh, yeah, the yeah he came back. He came back at Battleground player. last year. Yeah. Low blow, Brock. You know. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, man, yeah, that really, hey, so you got it. Hey, really I swear. Like, it's been that long. Like, because we've seen, yeah, really? the reason why is because we've seen Taker more oh, than yeah. usual than we have recently. We saw him at oh, Battleground, yeah, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, and WrestleMania. Hell in a Cell. Yep. Yeah, Shane, yeah. Hell in a Cell match. Like, it was a lot for the offseason. Yeah, we pretty much talked about him already with the social outcast, but he he's back with Connor, so. And William Regal, oh go ahead. Hey, you know something? I don't know how. I what? Miss I said we miss oh, we missed Sheamus. Oh, we missed Sheamus. Oh wow. I don't know. How I missed him myself. Missed the great, the great white Sheamus. He he he, he kind of he getting kind of stale. He's starting to get kind of. I mean, his feud with Apollo Cruz ain't that bad. Like they actually have some pretty decent matches, but um. I think the feud is over at this point. Oh yeah, he, he started. He was beating up Zack Ryder on Monday, so I don't, I think he's just gonna be this bully. He might just be this bully, <laughs> running around beating up jobbers or something. Still, still though. Not, not so fully, last still. yet, but uh, we have Zack Ryder. He just got refreshed. Though. He just got refreshed though. To me, his refreshment came Monday, even though he's still getting jobs. You know, his, his oh, yeah. Came yeah, and Xavier Woods, uh, well, he, he's with the New Day. You know, he he doing okay right now. And Regal, he did NXT GM, so he he don't wrestle. And uh, let's see, I'm, uh, I'm looking at the DLC right quick. You want to do the DLC? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Uh, before we get into that DLC. Uh, okay, yeah, let's talk. Yeah, we can't leave the woman out. Yeah, let's talk about the woman. I'm glad you brought that up. Oh yeah, she just Alicia came back. She she Fox. just returned like a few what? days ago. She came back on main event. She just returned. She didn't, she ain't had a match in forever. I don't know where she been. Yeah. Uh, I mean, she just came back. I'm pretty sure they gave her something new, and they didn't. Like that that was yeah. the problem they had with women. You know, women wrestling because like. Yeah, you would have them come yep. back, but it was like nothing different. Or and, or the only people that were getting changed were like Ric Flair's daughter or Brent Hart, you know, Natalia. You see what I'm saying? Like, the, like the people that had once had big names in the company, you know, that, that that's who the you know people that were getting you know really yep. fresh. No one else. Now I'm not gonna lie with this new Divas division. They doing okay with the like the the, the new Divas, like the the new uh, women wrestlers they have now. They doing okay with them, but. Boom, people like Alicia Fox, you know, I don't know what they're going to do with her, like, now. Because she just returned. I don't know what's next for her. The only time she was actually good was when she had that uh, that, that mad black woman gimmick, which is very stereotypical, like, when it comes to black people. But she had that mad black woman gimmick. I think that uh, she needs to, uh, I think that she needs to go to NXT. She might, she might do okay in NXT. Maybe. Hey, she, she, she got a move set now. She got some NXT good kicks. She oh, gone. Let's she see, gone. Brie Bella, man, retired. Cameron, she she gone. Probably. She got released. Trying to get kids. Uh, Emma, oh, I heal. Uh, Emma, oh, I yeah, she heal. doing much better. And she came back. She injured right, right now, though. She injured right now. And, uh... Like, isn't it kind of crazy how she came back? Like, did she come back from an injury? No, no, no. Like, she, no, she been back for a minute. Like, like she, like, like uh, right. like... I don't know when she came to the new Emma with the bad girl gimmick or whatever, but uh, she was doing really good on NXT. Then they put on the main roster. She was actually winning a few of her matches, and then after that, she just got injured. I don't know. I think she got injured. She got injured at a uh, a live event. Let's see, uh, Eva Marie. Let's see, uh, I don't know what happened. Eva to her. Marie. I ain't seen her in a minute. She's on the. Yeah. She's on, NXT, I think. Uh, uh, she's she's on, on NXT, NXT, but she ain't been on NXT in a minute. Like she ain't had no match in a while. But if y'all want to catch Eve Marie, y'all better watch Total Divas. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, why, yeah. Yeah, you need to, yeah, 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 yeah. E network, you know, Eva, E network. Yep, <laughs> good one. That was good one. Marie with the E, <laughs> E Marie. <laughs> and Layla, she retired. I used to, I used to love Layla back then. I used to love Layla back then. She injured. <laughs> A lot of these demons are injured. Like she, she injured too. She gone. She uh, her. See, uh, she popped her wow. other you know, you know. I'm honestly not sure how she got injured. Though. I'm joking, honestly not sure joking. how she got. I forgot how she got injured, but she she's still out. Of course, Natalia. Natalia, she, uh, of 
of course I'm telling you. Her cleavage in this game is oof. That picture they made her cleavage oh. kind of show out a lot, but but um. Yeah. Well, but, um, you know she healed right now. She feuding with Big Booty Becky Lynch. Um. But yeah, that's it. She 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 ain't really doing much as a heel. She not the same heel like she was then. Like when she first debuted. I think she was a better heel at that time because she you know when you first come in you're usually hungry. But I mean by hungry, you you know you striving for success. And she pretty much had that success already. She's she's just she don't say much as a heel. We just know she got her match with Becky. That's it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she coming back. She coming back soon. She just put on Twitter. She coming back. Like she she taking a you ever heard of a cat scan? Like when they scan uh you know if you if you uh able to compete or whatever. But yeah, she got it. She getting. I think she got it already. But she coming back soon. She had to get her. She got her final cat scan. Like she came. Last time I saw her was at WrestleMania when yeah. Brie won the match for her team, and she came out and she looked like she she looked kind of you know she looked like she was weak, like she was. Yeah, she. Yeah, you know, like she had a she had a neck brace. Like you know she you know she had broke her. Well, she hurt her neck. I don't know if she broke her neck or what. She had to get surgery too on her neck. Yeah, look, she was kind of sick. I don't, I don't know. But I, I was like, man, I hope. I, I was like, when I saw her, I was like, dang, she don't look, you know, okay. Yep. Like, I hope she's okay, you know, fine. Miss Dario. Okay. Mrs. Dario. They're not really married, but, you know, they they dating. But Paige, um, I don't know what to say about Paige too much. I mean, I don't really I don't really pay too much attention to Paige. Sometimes she's on TV, sometimes she not, you know. She be on and off. I mean, but when she yeah, is yeah. on TV, though, she's winning her matches. Like, she... Like that's like that was her second time beating Charlotte, like you know just coming back on a match and just just oh, yeah. you know, showing up just to beat Charlotte. Uh, and the, the MILF Stephanie, Stephanie McMahon. McMahon. As a, as a GM yeah, of, uh, as a as a GM of uh, Raw now, uh, actually she's doing fine. Yeah, she's doing okay. She she, she doing fine. Yeah, uh, other than the fact she broke her leg on Monday, uh, her ankle, I mean, but, yeah, uh, yeah. other than that. She didn't break her leg, but she almost <laughs> fell in them heels. <laughs> she did break her leg. That would have been crazy. She would have got, she, she would have did exactly what her father did when he walked down in, at the Rumble 2005 and he tore his quad walking to the ring. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened to uh, the ring. I, I don't really pay, pay a lot of attention. Oh, she had a match. Uh, she had a match, uh, you remember, like, on the 4th of July, I told you, uh... Like, oh, yeah, 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 she was back, yeah, I remember, okay, like, I remember that part. Turned... Oh, really? And they kept showing it in the camera, I was like, wow, wow, they got close, I was like, dang, man. Like, this is, like, they were literally just throwing food at her butt, and she wow. was like, oh, what, what the heck? Uh, well, she, she, uh, to me, she, uh, I don't know if she's a face or a heel. Last time we saw she had her, the thing with Lana and uh, remember, you know uh, Rusev and uh, uh, somebody else. Oh yeah, it's Dolph Ziggler. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, also, you remember her up with, uh, she she was in that little oh, story yeah. with Miz Dow and Miz, and like she was she changed from Miz Dow, and then I know where that changed from. She went from Miz. Miz turns out she was just acting the whole time from the the Marine in the movie. Yep. As a matter, as a matter, right matter of fact, I think she's been on TV for a while because you know she she was a part of the Marine. Like you know they they filmed they just filmed the movie and she was still a part of it, the new one. Yeah. And we have uh, Tamina. I, I think she's injured too. I think she's a, yeah. A lot of them are injured right now. She's really good in the ring. I wish they you know she's very dominant. She got a push once, but I don't know what happened to that push. It just faded. It just went back down. But um. So uh, I'm gonna buy some of the uh, some of the ones that are not yeah. in the game. Uh, like Sasha Banks. Uh, so what do you think about she, Sasha? She, she got body. She, she, she doing good. She fine. So, anyway, she, um, she got back. a good move. Says she she just came back. I, I hope I hope she get that title because uh, she needs that women's championship. Charlotte, um, she's starting to get stale when it comes to heel. Period. I don't, I don't like. I think Charlotte needs. To Charlotte, her mic skills like, remind me of Dixie Carter's mic skills. Like you know. I just think Charlotte is gonna take a break. You know, just get some get some time off. You know, lose. A, she needs to drop the title of Sasha Banks. Just, just disappear for a while. Just get some time off, then come back. You know, hopefully with just a new, you know, new setting maybe. And then uh, Becky, big yeah, Becky, she finally uh, Becky going Lynch. going up because she was taking L's a lot. She finally getting some W's. I think I hope she beat Natalia. I think she's gonna beat her. Oh, uh, been uh. Uh, you also got oh, yeah, on Bailey. NXT Bailey. So. Yeah, Bailey. Uh, 
Yeah, you know, she probably yeah. might, might be. So part we got of other guys. It's a lot of guys on NXT, so we may not talk about all of them because there's a whole lot of them on there. Uh, let's see. I'm I'm just going by what's in the game. Oh yeah, Blake and Murphy. Now, nah, um, they've been taking L's too ever since they left with uh, Alexa Bliss. Well, Alexa Bliss left them. They've been taking L's on NXT. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, Diego and uh, for, uh, Diego. Oh yeah, the, the what, what is their tag team called? The um, they came. They got a new gimmick. What is it called? Uh, like I saw them live. They were actually really good live. Like they mic skills was they. It was funny as hell. Oh man. They was some stuff like, man, where we back, where we go back, we're back away from, man, they have oceans and trees, but here, they have nothing. I was like, dang, <laughs> that's messed up. Oh, that's messed up. Dang. But, um, <laughs> Samoa Joe, oh, yeah, he just came back Samoa on NXT. Joe. He, he's pretty much the dominant force of NXT right now. He's finna face Rhino, you know, coming up soon. Well, next week on NXT. But, et cetera. And, um... I'm looking at the, I'm uh, looking at the managers. You said what? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, right the managers. Okay. Rosa, of course, she's not here anymore. Uh, Paul Heyman. You, Paul Heyman. Oh yeah, he can. Man, yeah, he, he, he you, can you get Paul Heyman as your manager, you gonna get some type of push. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, they got two Mr. McMahons. I think there's like a DLC McMahon and a... No, 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 there's just two McMahons. He's not even DLC. It's just two random McMahons. Paul Bear, R.I.P. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Ano. I mean, Lana, my bad. Oh, Lana. Lana. Lana's looking amazing. Man. I like how she's yeah. been doing this, like, American look. You know what I mean? Like... It has. It's not uh, like if you look at her picture in the game. You know she has that like a uh, like that white top oh, yeah. on, and she looks fine too. But uh, like yeah. she got that new like country girl look with the short skirt, like really really short, skirt, some high heels. Her hair is out. It, you know, look, like she's at fine. You know. Yep, and Brad Maddox. Man, last time I seen this man, he was in a cave. Uh, <laughs> That's how, last time I seen that man. That man made that little cave video. I'm stuck in the cave. That was like. Last year, two years ago, but actually, um, on Jimmy Kimmel last year, uh, Undertaker was there and he tombstone and Brad Maddox. He was the chicken and Undertaker tombstone him. Oh, you know what? I remember Brad Maddox. I, Maddox. Doing. I think he's doing backstage work or something. Brad Maddox is still here. I know he's still here. I remember I saw Brad Maddox. Okay, this wasn't the last time I saw him, but I saw Brad Maddox. When uh actually yeah you know this was the last time I saw him, last time I saw Brad Maddox on TV was when Brock Lesnar and Undertaker had that brawl, they had that gigantic brawl. Wow, you, you actually caught him. him. <laughs> you actually caught Brad. Him. Wow. Yeah, Brad Maddox wow. was actually out there in that rumble, and then I want to say, like uh, I I, I want to say the uh, Sami Zayn and Kevin <laughs> Owens brawl in the back. I want to oh, wow. say that, that he was there at that, too. I'm trying to really remember. I, I really do think that he was there at that, but I, I, can't, I can't really give you a 100% answer. But I really, yeah, you know, I kind of want to say he was there. Uh, I think Rosa, Oh, no, she's still Rosa, with him. She, she just had a baby. Uh, That's why she was out. She just had a kid. She just had her first kid like a, like a month ago, I think. Um, uh, uh, He's not a wrestler. He's somebody. Oh. You know, He's not related to wrestling. Personal friend, I guess. Oh, yeah, and... Uh, yeah, congratulations. Uh, oh, yep, and uh, yep, Zeb Coulter, he he got released. Uh, he's with a, I think he's he's making an appearance on Global Force Wrestling. I don't know if he did already, um, but yeah, he got released as well as Hornswoggle. His new name is Swoggle. He not in this game, but his new name is Swoggle. And um, I think that might be it. I mean, you know, other than our created characters, but uh, you know, course, actually, you know, actually, in the company. But, uh, I mean, pretty much, guys, thank you for, uh, you know, I mean, Ace, you got anything else? I mean, really um, that's it, it. Know, I pretty much said everything video. I wanted to. Let everything go off the chest. Yeah, I, I kind of hate saying that. You know, I, I, I kind of Yeah, he, he, he was, he had, he, he had charisma. He was very talented. I, I hate that they released him. I, I don't, he, he, he didn't get released. Yeah, he actually requested. He, he wanted to get released. Like, he, he wanted to leave. He was done. 
Like he 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 was actually stale. Like that king when they gave him King Barry, oh, that, right. that was it. That was, I I agree. That was horrible. Oh yeah, they messed him up. 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 They messed him Either Kevin Owens or Sami Zayn. Well, those two men, one of them, it, it, something's gonna have to give, guys. And eventually, one of them, you know, yep. is gonna show who's better. So and yep. we're gonna find out the battleground. <laughs> I mean, but uh, I mean, that's it. I mean, that's it for this. Uh, you know, this uh, little segment here, guys. So uh, leave a uh, like, uh, comment, and make sure you subscribe. Uh, and give your, you know, opinion. Uh, make sure check out Dragon's check videos. Check out Ace on videos. You know, he has the, you know, you know, SmackDown versus Raw. You know, he, 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 he you know, he raps. Check out Dragon's channel. He's he starting doing the 2K all. info. You know, you NBA, you know, good uh, good clips. Clips you never find anywhere. The best clips. All right. Oh. Peace. Like, comment, subscribe, and... Oh, wow. <laughs> Peace. <doing? laughs> wow.